Hello, all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here. And we are on day 12. Day 11 was pretty exciting. We managed to find a, a monk engineer school off in the hills. Uh, not sure what happened there, but hopefully maybe some more clues will show up uh, as we explore more of the planet. Uh, we was able to use a piece of technology that they have up there, and we may have to go back to use it again, but it's there for us. Uh, we were able to find a cobalt deposit. And of course, we went up to the, towards the end of day 11 and discovered where it was at. And it's in a bit of a tough spot, actually. Uh, I've got some ideas. I think I need to go up on the other side of that canyon and I did a little bit of work on starting to lay out the framework for a cargo uh, truck because I took this up there last time and it just didn't have the power to speak of uh, coming back down it has plenty of power it actually has too much weight and it really gets to cooking and you can't really slow it down so I am building my cargo truck and going to start using those uh, scraps, those spare parts I've been collecting. So uh, at this point, I think I'm going to have to take these out, which I'm going to go ahead and do that right now, at least part of them. That, and let's take that one that way that'll allow me to get close enough I believe now I may have to take these out as well uh, but I shouldn't have to worry about taking these out on this side because uh, this side I'm gonna put the cargo boxes in on this side and that's the part that's gonna be a bit of a problem just making sure I get close enough the batteries will go alongside these cargo boxes and I know I can get close enough to those so uh, first off let's hop up here come on you can see I've kind of uh, got the flatbed all set up now these are here just temporarily uh, these are here to just help guide me to get uh, the cargo box in place now the first thing we've got to do is, well first thing I want to do is weld up these bottoms uh, because I could get them from below but this way uh, I've got to put, actually I didn't have to weld those back to, the cargo box is 3x3. Three so let's see here uh two let's go to g weld pads these right here so they just take a basic computer uh actually uh that uh, recipe is for a large block so they just take a basic computer a steel plate and a construction component so we'll need to build two of these let's just plop those right there and uh, I apparently have everything I need right now. So I have steel. I didn't realize I had a basic. Com well, I got the construction component. So let's, let's go ahead and do that. And I'm going to have to put one on the bottom of that box. So let's go over here. And... Let's get enough for two of those. Let's weld this one up. Oh, uh, oh it's hitting the... Uh, all right, there we go. 
All right, so that weld pad is in place. Now, let's uh, raise that up. I'm hoping that's going to be high enough. I'm pretty sure it is, but let's get everything turned on here. Three, four, five. And let's turn our pistons on. And might as well turn that off. Okay, let's let's uh, raise these pistons up. Uh, that'll be piston number two that has to go all the way up. Okay, uh, piston number two. Let's go two. Well, we can just do it like this. I turn the pistons on? I thought I turned the pistons on. Maybe I turned them off. I turned them off. There we go. Alright, I hear it uh, working. So that's raising, 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 raising. Oh no! That is no good. That is no good. All right, what do we need to do here? Well, I have a couple of options. I can go ahead and grind these off. I think that will lower it. It's not going to take much. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and grind these down. And then what I'll end up doing when I go to put the wheels on, once I get the cargo boxes in place, obviously I'm going to just get the two on there. But <coughs> I... Uh, Excuse me there, I had a tickle in my throat. Uh, I think I can put a, some pistons on here and then we can raise uh, raise the frame back up to get the wheels on. So let's go ahead and do that. This is not ideal. Get that out of there. And I think that is just about going to do it for clearance-wise. I want to take this light off. Ah. Come on. Turn your light. All right. Okay. other thing I might I should be able to do okay well let's get this weld pad on here seven needs to be right in the center and I think that is correct right there let's get it welded up there we go all right that's in place all right, let's uh, do this. Come back in. And let's get into here. Control. Let's take all these wheels and let's see if go outside and do it like this. We just need to... I don't know if these wheels are going to lift, but any any 
lift we can get will be helpful. All right, so let's do uh, go back in control. Let's grab all of these wheel suspensions and. Uh, Height offset. Uh, all right, that was already as high as it could be. Uh, strength. Okay, that's got us. That's about as high as we're going to get. But I think. That's probably enough. Okay, let's uh, well, let's back that thing up. All right, I think let's. Uh, Brakes off, and let's uh, give it just a little bit of juice. Okay. Let's bring it back a little farther. Okay, I think that's about as far back as we can get with this one. Okay, I think we're going to have to do the rest from outside. Let's go see how it's lined up. Okay. That looks pretty good. Uh, let's just bring the top out a little bit. That's uh, piston number three. Piston number three. All right. Let's go. Let's go maximum distance of one. Start with that. Reverse. Close. Let's go uh, 1.1 on that. Uh, I think that will be just about right. Okay, I like that alignment. All right. Now we gotta bring this down. Uh, all right, take piston number one, and let's expand it out. Let's go one. Now, as these weld plates get close, uh, since I'm not all that high up, they may weld as soon as it gets over in the right spot. So let's see what happens here. Let's uh, send piston number one out. Distance of one. Push that. All right. I think that's almost there. Okay, so I'm thinking that's one. Let's go. Let's go 1.2. Piston number one. And let's go 
1.25. Okay. Let's bring it out to 1.5. And it looks like we've got the clearance. Alright, let's just do it from right here. Alright, let's take piston one to basically point five and it just locked into place I don't know if you saw it but it just welded itself into place oh beautiful so we got that one into place And, okay, I can pick up the next one. So we have the cargo container on here. I wanted to put three on, so you can see that this is built out fairly large. Uh, I don't have three of them, but I'm thinking that I'll add the third one once I either can make medium cargo bays or I can actually find a, a third one out there, so... Uh, with that, I think I will uh, finish getting the second cargo on, and as I'm about ready to put it into place, I will uh, catch back up with you all. Okay, I think I'm about ready to put the second box on. Uh, I just got to slide it down. I've got everything into place. It's not quite as level as the other one was. I had to do a little bit of work to get this in place. So, Missy, you got to get down. And let's, uh, let's see how this will slide in. Come on, get over here and lay down. My co-pilot is insisting on being up here. All right. Let's, uh, piston number one. Let's, uh, put you out to one. And reverse. See how that's looking. All right, that needs to go a bit more. Come on. I think that's pretty good. I have to bring bring piston number three over just a smidget more. Go to piston number three. I got it set at let's go to one point three on that one. Just just a bit. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Alright, so now we need to bring Piston number two, uh, down about another block's length, I think. I'm sorry, piston number one. It is at one, so let's go... 1.2. I didn't quite get it. go. Oh, 
one point three five. Not quite. One point four. Get close. Now oh, we're almost there. Get up here and take a look at it. Let's bring it forward just a little bit more, and then we might have to lower this one. that out to 1.5 and it uh, kind of pushed it so I think that is as far forward all right well let's just come down with uh, piston number two that at 1.9 and let's reverse it that didn't quite do it let's go better check something I think I turned it off my uh, magnetic plate the auto lock is off okay well, let's bring number two down on another one. Eight. I think that... Quite at the right angle. I think what I'm going to do is unlock it and then see if I can't finish pushing it into place. So let's uh, let's go with the magnetic plate and just unlock it. All right. Didn't. Let's see if we can kind of push this into... Uh, that might have done it. All right, let me pull this out of the way. All right, let's uh, take the break off. Let's take forward a little bit. Park it, and let's uh, let's turn things off. didn't weld it. I got caught in a hole here. Oh no.
Oh, let's see if we can grind our way out of this one. There we go. Alright, I better put that block back in. And... I better fill those in. At least get... So we're not falling through the cracks. And I think... Oh, I need to get some more... Some more steel plates. What I want to do is... Put... Three blocks alongside it. And make sure that it stays in place. All right. And while we're here, let's get rid of this scrap. Let's hop back up here. I need to double check something, make sure I didn't screw up. I know that's got a weld plate on it. I'm pretty sure I put a weld plate on it. Let's see what I got. Oh, I think I know what I did wrong. I think I forgot to put a weld plate on it. All right, well, I tell you what, I will get back with you once I get a weld plate on here and we can weld this thing into place. Okay, I figured out what I did wrong. I, uh, I did lay a weld plate down, but I forgot to weld it up on the body. I did get a weld plate onto here uh as you can see it so that's why it wasn't welding into place because the one wasn't completed let's see if we can get lucky enough and push this back into place i don't know if i can kind of get it there There we go. It's starting to push. Okay. Alright, it's almost there. Just gotta get to where the plates connect, so if we can... Oh, I think it just snapped into place. Okay. Shouldn't, I shouldn't be able to push it out now. No. Okay, so that was the problem. That's why it wasn't uh, stamping into place. So we now have our two cargo bays. I need to put the bat, start putting the batteries on here. And it's going to be the same process using weld pads. And I want to put uh, eight eight batteries on this thing and so I'm going to put four on or eight on this side or four on this side I'm sorry I want to put uh, two I want to put 16 batteries on this so there will be eight on each side so once I get these eight batteries on That'll give me enough power to put my pistons on and then lift this thing up and be able to put my wheels on. And then we can just kind of go about finishing off the, the build on this. So once I get uh, 
uh, the batteries on and about ready to put the last last one into place I will uh, get back with you well I'm not getting as much done as I wanted to on this uh, I'm gonna put a third battery on right now so let's kind of go through that process and let's uh, see if we can get it on I've already got two batteries on I ran into a fog and snowstorm and so it really cut down on my visibility on being able to get this thing lined up and let's see if we can kind of get this in place here it's probably about a little bit more a little bit more That should be good. All right, let's uh, hop out, check our alignment. It's a little crooked, but it still should go into place. And let's uh, let's send three out a little bit more. Put it out to about, well, let's just reverse it. I think that should be good. Alright, we just need to bring, well, let's just bring four down. Piston four, let's go. Go point seven. First, that. Ah, it didn't quite do it. I might be able to kick that into place. Let's uh, unlock the plate. And then we can. Let's reverse piston number four. And then we can pull this out of the way. Well, actually, let's see if we can just get up here. All right, let's just pull this out of the way. Pistons off for now. Or we can just turn everything off. I think I can kick that into place right now. All right, let's uh, hop out of here. And come on, come on, come on. Okay, it did it. It, uh, I heard it, uh, oh, no, it didn't. It's almost there. Son of a gun. Of course it's not going to move for me. Did that do it? No, it hasn't done it yet. 
I can still see the weld pad down there. And I'm pretty sure... I know I welded that. Yeah, that's all welded up. And I know I had put a weld pad on the battery. Just not quite there yet. All right, let's let's do this. Let's back this into it. See if it can move it. And we'll get that last battery into place. Let's uh turn everything on. These have been proving to be a little more difficult, but since we can't build them, uh we kind of got to go through the challenge of it. So let's turn that off. And let's, uh, two. Yeah, that's off. I don't want to connect to it. Let's, uh, turn. I need to turn my pistons on. Okay, and let's see if we can push this into place with this. So we just need to bring that down. Well, let's bring piston three back just a touch. All right, so let's bring it back to one. First, there we go. Okay, let's bring piston four down a little bit. It's currently at zero, so just go ahead and reverse that. That needs to come down a little more. Actually, let's bring piston two down. Is currently at one. Let's uh, let's bring that to one point. Oh, let's go one point two. First, that. Okay, I think we should be able to just push that with three. Well, let's bring two down just another point. Let's bring it down to one. Okay. Now let's take piston three. To start, uh, it is currently at one. Let's go one point one. Take it one point at a time and reverse it. I think that uh, put it into place. Okay. Let's uh, let's pull this forward. Okay, well, we've got, they're in place, 
There's three batteries. Like I said, I want to put uh, eight on each side. I think what I want to do, let's see if we can... Uh, build out that uh, seat. All right. And then we can kind of get on it. And s there we go. And then let's look look at our batteries. We should have three of them. Uh, actually, that's the medium cargo. That's the medium cargo. And there's battery one, battery two, and battery three. Uh, and yeah, everything's going to show special content i'll rename these but yeah so we've got uh uh so each of these has 200 kilowatt so i currently uh or maximum 200 kilowatt it's got 99 uh stored power of 100 kilowatts on pretty much each of them so once we get all of those batteries on there uh this will be a fairly powerful uh, rig for getting up into the hills. All right, well, it we've made progress, not as much as I wanted to today, but the cargo ship is starting to come around. I'm going to go ahead and, and work on getting the rest of those batteries on, and then uh, next episode, we will pick up, I will put the pistons on, and raise this thing up so that we can then get the wheels and whatnot on there and I'm trying to think I just need to put an antenna I've already got the metal detector right there and then uh, we'll, we'll figure out a spot I've got the two gyros that have to be built and they're on right there all right space engineers keep engineering away out there keep your heads up uh, this is Commander Kingfish, and I am out of here, and I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching, everyone.